So why am I them on the ends? So paranoid. Why am I them on the ends? So on job. Uh, on job means on this thing. Yeah? About that life. Yeah? Well, for one, <laughs> most man on the road bun weed, innit? So they're going to be a little bit paranoid anyway, innit? But for two, they have to for their own safety. Man them have to be paranoid. Man them have to be on job on this thing for their own safety. So made that video yesterday. <laughs> man got a knock at the door. I bust the front door open. And I'm seeing a you with a woolly hat on, sunglasses on, and a balaclava talking about trick or treating. He's got a mobile phone low down to his stomach. I can see the camera lens facing me and he's got his hand behind his back. Let me just explain the situation, yeah? Because obviously, as I said yesterday, when I saw that, I said, wait there, close the door, ran upstairs, gave me man had to yeah, prepare myself. I wouldn't have run off upstairs to get what I needed to get if he didn't have his hand behind his back. See, this is a hangover from the roads. I'm in my yard, someone knocked my door, blacked out, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm just I'm just reacting to it. I'm thinking man's coming here and he's on smoke or whatever, isn't he? Because yeah, the thing you need to understand is obviously you lot don't know me, you don't know my background really, innit? You just see man on YouTube and you might think, oh yeah, whatever, innit? Yeah, no, trust me. If anyone's coming to my door, especially of if they're on their own, they're coming and they're coming prepared. If they're coming with three or four men, then maybe it might be a fisting. But if a one man is coming to my door and they know who I am, they're not coming unprepared. They're not coming to fist man up. Because they know they're more likely going to lose anyway. Isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I reacted like that. Because a man's got his hand behind his back or whatever, isn't it? and I'm having a hangover from my past or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. So, like I was explaining to my girl earlier, isn't it? Yeah, like Nadia, um, the reason why I man them on the ends are so paranoid and that, because they have to. So imagine, yeah, like I'm on my block. Imagine I'm on my estate and my estate, man them, every now and then man them come to ride out on my estate to look for me or whoever lives on my estate. If I'm involved on the road and I got beef with man that are coming down all the time, I can't just be relaxed. I can't just be cool and just chilling and, that, and off guard and that. Man need to be on guard. So if I'm on my estate and I see... A blacked out car coming down towards me and I'm with one or two of my brethren or I'm on my own or whatever, innit, yeah? And I see there's man in the car and they're driving slowly, whatever, innit, yeah? I need to be paranoid. Do you know why? Because the man them that are coming for me, they're coming on smoke. Now, if I was a white person, I wouldn't need to react like that. I wouldn't even need to be paranoid. If I was a white person on my estate and I weren't involved in nothing like that, or even a black man that's not involved in nothing like that and I don't look like that. You can look at me and know, okay, this is a nerd. He's a civilian. He's not on nothing. He's not involved in nothing. I wouldn't need to be paranoid. I would think, worst case scenario, man are going to come and try and rob me, which is probably unlikely anyway. But when you're involved in certain things, your outlook, your perception of certain things are going to be a lot different to the average person. Again, if I was a normal civilian, if I was a white person, if I weren't involved in nothing back in the day or nothing like that, I didn't have a mindset on certain things back in the day. If a youth turned up to my door with a, a woolly hat on, sunglasses and a balaclava or whatever, innit, yeah? Like, I wouldn't even be thinking, let me go and run and get something to attack man or, or whatever, innit, to defend myself. I will just be thinking like, it generally is a trick-or-treating thing or whatever. And I ain't thinking that it's a trick-or-treating thing. I'm thinking to myself, because of my past experiences and, you know, a hangover from the roads, I'm thinking, oh, someone's coming to my door and they're using Halloween as an excuse to try and do a man something or whatever. It? Because, obviously, imagine it's Halloween, it's trick-or-treating, it's convenient to knock on a random person's door. It's convenient for strangers to turn up to your yard. It's convenient for people to uh, conceal the identity, i.e. a woolly hat, maybe glasses or a balaclava or whatever, in it. So, yeah. That's why a man reacted the way I, I did yesterday because I'm, I'm having a hangover from my past experiences and that. 
I'm not thinking it's trick or treating. I'm thinking it's a situation. Um, you know, when I'm in my house, I'm, I'm thinking I'm still in Edmund. I don't remember that I'm in Northampton or whatever, innit? So, yeah, 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 yeah. And even like when I was running and chasing after the ute, like, <laughs> I remember when I, so boom, I, I shut the door, gone upstairs. Get me, come back down, bust the front door open, innit? You looked out. I'm seeing this you like five, six doors down, and he's just disappeared. I'm just seeing a silhouette. I'm just seeing heels. Man's flicking his heels, man's just running or whatever, innit? And when I'm running after him, even though he's going this way, that way, that way, whatever, innit? I'm thinking to myself, like, why why has this person come here or whatever, innit? He was just bookie or whatever, innit? But eventually I caught up to the boy and he just said it was just chick or treating or whatever, innit? So, yeah. But um yeah, that's that's why man them in, like if you ever think to yourself like why are man them on the ends so paro or they're so on job, they have to be. They have to be. There's been times that like, even like local areas to man. I've gone to Wood Green um at night time to get my, my tinsel town milkshake in it. It might be like ten o'clock or something like that, innit? Yeah. And I'm just walking past the chicken and chip shop on Wood Green High Street and I'm looking in, you know, you just look in, whatever, innit? Yeah. I'm looking in and man them are just looking like because they're thinking that it might be a ride out yeah they might think that man's one of their ops or whatever innit because I still look kind of young innit yeah and plus man's not really pre in the situation they just seen a black person walk past and they're looking in or whatever innit and you lot might think oh well you're just one person or whatever innit yeah but they don't know who might be behind me I might be the first one out of 15 men and if you know anything about Wood Green and their ops and that you know get me man are getting dropped and on both sides and that, innit? So, yeah, that's why, that's why man them are so paranoid and so on job because they have to be. They have to be. I've seen man in areas that they're not supposed to be in, and they and they need to be on it. So basically, they're slipping. It's like I don't know. I taught that man in Wood Green. I've seen man move in a certain way because they have to because they know at any moment. Man, then will be coming. But man, seen it. I remember when I was working in home, working for Holmes Harringay. I was an apprentice. I'm in the passenger seat. Um, one of the um, yeah, one of the guys I was working with, obviously, he's driving or whatever in it. Yeah, we're going past Wood Green Crown Court. There's some Tottenham youths outside Wood Green Crown Court. They're like one or two years younger than me, but man, know their faces or whatever in it. And then afterwards, I'm seeing some Tottenham boys. Um, some sorry. So there were some Tottenham boys out outside Wood Green Crown Court. If you know anything about the beef with Tottenham and Wood Green, obviously Tottenham boys can't go to Wood Green in it. So there's some Tottenham boys outside Wood Green Crown Court. And then I'm seeing Wood Green youths keeping it moving, and a couple Edmonton youths were there as well, innit? Yeah. And then I'm like, I shouted out the window like, "Yo, what well, go on or whatever in it?" And they say, "Yeah, we done this, we done that, whatever in it." Like, a man can't even go court without. Get me getting caught slipping, so that's just how it is on the road, isn't it? Yeah. You can't even go like even shit like um, the, uh, Enfield Probation, no Enfield Youth Offending Service is in Edmonton, the top of Bouncers Road. So if any like Tottenham boys or whatever commit crimes in Edmonton or like the Enfield area, well they have to go to Youth Offending Service in. Um, Edmonton possibly but definitely them Enfield Utes obviously they're Edmonton is within the Enfield borough and if they commit any crimes whatever they have to go to Enfield Youth Offending Service which is at the top of Bouncers Road if you know anything about Bouncers Road in Edmonton N9 then you will know that that's a hot spot you know? like a lot of people been stabbed up and killed on that road or whatever and it will, or too many people been stabbed and killed on that road or whatever and it? so it's a slip for the Enfield boys that can't come to Edmonton, it's a slip for them because they're in a hot spot. They're in a hot spot. Imagine like Wood Green Boys, uh, their probation services in Broadwater Farm. That's that is long. That is long. Furthermore, when I was going for um the job interview for Home Saharangay, um the job interview was at Broadwater Farm, which is in Tottenham. And yeah. I went there with my briefcase, no sorry, my laptop bag, a couple of paperwork in there, you know, nice little jacket and that, shirt, trousers and shoes and that. And yeah, I had to bring my knife with me to um, the job interview, innit? Because man didn't really have no mad beef with no one on, like a lot of people on that estate, but just where I'm from and I did 
get me I had a call I ain't gonna say too much in here but get me someone wanted to try and get me back for something that I did to them so yeah um could he even go uh, um I couldn't even go unarmed yeah I wouldn't have fought you know, I wouldn't have felt safe if I didn't go prepared or whatever, really, because I'm going to someone's estate. There's no running. There's no running on Broadwater Farm or nothing like that. Yeah, you're going to get caught. So, yeah, you have to stand and, and defend yourself. And I, I'm going to be on my own and I'm going to be, get me, slipping. And there's going to be, you know, more man than me or whatever. Really. So I have to go prepared. In there, yeah. So, yeah, basically, that's why man and want to end uh, are so on job and that, because they have to be. You got random cars driving past, man are jumping out on you, pulling out knives and potentially want to shoot at you and that. That's why man them are, are, are paranoid and that. Don't know, stay wise.